Recently, the World Bank suggested that India should reconsider joining the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership or RCEP. Why? Because the report suggests that joining the partnership could help India inch closer to its ambitious $1 trillion export target by 2030. For the uninitiated, India has chosen to opt out of RCEP and the BRI, which is the Border Road Initiative, as both are Chinese initiatives. Why did India stay out of China's BRI and RCEP? News 9 Plus decodes. To understand this, we must first understand what these two projects are and why India chose to opt out of both of them. What is the Border Road Initiative or the BRI? Sometimes referred to as the New Silk Road, the BRI is one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in the world. It will establish new trade routes to reconnect China with the rest of the world. It is perhaps China's primary tool for executing its debt trap policy. What is the RCEP? The RCEP is a free trade agreement between 15 countries in Asia. It is the world's largest free trade agreement and covers many issues like e-commerce, trade in goods and services, economic and technical cooperation and dispute settlement. The agreement came into effect on the 1st of January 2022. Why did India opt out of both the BRI and RCEP? Well, because of China. India has a large trade deficit with China. At the time of RCEP's inception in 2020, tensions between India and China had reached a new high. Policymakers were worried that the project would enable China to dump its cheap exports in India, ultimately hurting the local producers. Plus, the evidence shows that free trade agreements have not really benefited India. The BRI passes through the Gilgit-Baltistan area of Kashmir. This is a disputed territory between India and Pakistan. Sovereign and territorial reasons forced India to back out of the BRI. Now, the final question. How was India proved right by staying out of China's BRI and RCEP? Well, both these projects were supposed to benefit all member countries. But did they? No, only one country won, China. Two years ago, after RCP kicked off, China managed to significantly reduce its trade deficit with South Korea, Japan, New Zealand and Australia. Basically, joining the RCEP would have meant India staring at worsened trade deficits. As far as BRI is concerned, here too, China is the biggest winner. 10 years into the project and 80% of China's government loans have gone to nations in debt distress, meaning China is reinforcing its debt trap diplomacy. Unaffordable loans make developing nations vulnerable to Chinese coercion. Undoubtedly, these two projects, especially the BRI, are just tools for Xi Jinping to expand Chinese global reach and influence.